Hi, it's Brian from iSpring, and today we're going to find out how to create an interactive book. Here's what an interactive book looks like when it's completed. There's a realistic page-turning effect that really immerses the user in the learning experience. Now let's see how to make it. You can put a book right inside a PowerPoint-based course by inserting a new slide, and then clicking the Interaction button, or you can open iSpring Visuals right here from the iSpring Suite Quick Start window and choose the book interaction. A new book already contains front and back cover pages and one broadside. Here on the Design tab, you can choose a page size from Portrait all the way down to Landscape. Let's use Portrait. You can also choose from several design themes for your front and back covers and pages. Plus, you can set a background color fill here and choose the color in this box. Actually, I have some pre-designed pages, so I'm just gonna uncheck this option, then select all my pages, and choose the blank theme. Now over here on the View tab, I'll uncheck the guides because I'll be using full page images, so I won't need them. Otherwise, these can be really handy for helping you arrange content on your pages. Now let's go back to the Book tab and start adding content. Here you can add pictures, characters, and text boxes. I'll just add my pre-designed cover here, and then go to the first broadside. Now I can add my page 1 and my page 2 to this broadside. As you can see, I've decided to add the text right in the images, but you can easily add text with the text box button. You might also want to check out the tutorial that shows you how to add characters to a 3D book. Now that I'm done with these pages, I'll just add a new broadside, and now I can continue creating my book. Now that my book is complete, I'll go to the Properties and customize my player. You can choose a preset here from the dropdown, and as you can see, there are just two colors the page background, which is the outer square, and the player background, which is the inner square. You can customize these colors by clicking on them, which will open up a color picker box. When you're done, Click OK twice to get back to your book. When you're ready, you can preview it by clicking here, but we already saw that at the beginning of this video, so let's go ahead and publish. If you like, change the title and destination, then pick an output format, and click Publish. Here you can check out how your book looks on different devices, plus attach it to an email or upload it to your website via FTP. Don't forget, you can use this book separately or as part of a PowerPoint based course. Thanks for watching! Now you know how to create an interactive book. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.